an alchemist basically was someone who took base metals like lead mm -hmm. and transformed it into gold. You know, just, okay. just to keep it real simple, right? But, you know, people were in search of like the Philosopher's Stone, mm -hmm. the, the elixir of life, and, you know, people were trying to, you know, uh, get their hands on this information so that they could transform this lead to gold. Because, you know, lead ain't worth shit, right? right? right, right. So, what they were really speaking about was a, was a spiritual transformation okay. within a person, becoming God realized, so to speak. You know, just to keep things real simple. So, the same thing applies to us, you know, coming from, coming from the projects, coming from poverty, coming from broken homes, coming from, uh, you, know, you know, communities that are plagued by drugs and crime and, and stuff like that, you know, prisons, killings, you know, we become a powerful race of people, a culture that was thriving at one time, are now reduced to survive. I listen to music all day about busting their gun, but they don't tell you the, 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 the harsh reality. When, when that motherfucker, when you get caught with that smoking gun, and the police run down on you, and they lock your ass up, and you sit in front of that judge, and they, and they talking about giving you motherfucking numbers you can't even pronounce, all that rap shit and all that tough guy shit go out the window. But see, that's, that's what I capture. That's what I capture in my writings, and that's what, I, that's what resonates with the people. Let me tell you something. You know, I, I've been, I've been, you know, I was sentenced to nine years, you know, for armed robbery. And, and I was with killers. Mm -hmm. You know, I was with people that you, you read about in magazines. And, you know, I broke bread with, with, with little Paulie and, and Ron Du from Paid and Fool. Mm -hmm. You know, I was with these guys. And, you know, a lot of times, man, these guys who are legends in the street, crying, man. Yeah. You know, mothers dying while they're yeah. in prison. You know, daughters, things happening while they're there and feeling that powerlessness, regretting that one decision that they made. If they could take if they could take that one decision back and trade that in for mm -hmm. for a, 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 what you call a regular normal life, they, they would. would. You know what I'm saying? They would do it in a heartbeat. So we don't really capture we you know, there's a lot of glorification of the lifestyle, you know, but but the lifestyle is painful, man. The lifestyle is lost. The lifestyle, you know, I don't care how many cars, or how many Jordans you could accumulate, man. You know, when they take that time, time is the most valuable resource, man. They take that from you. They take your life. They take your family. They separate you. You know, this is an age-old fucking practice. This is a fucking business, you know. So yeah. when they take that from you, that's the essence, and that's 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 the substance that mm -hmm. that that reflects in my writing, mm -hmm. that reflects in my talks, and that's what I want to reflect in the visual, mm -hmm. in, in the documentaries, in the films, in the things that I have, you know, planned, you know, for the future. Like I want to capture that, but I also want to reflect the hope and the power that we have, that we are as a people. Yeah. Like 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 pal, right? He created a studio. He quit his job to pursue his passion. Right? right? We don't want to die without greatness in us. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a there's a, a a public speaker poet named Kirk Nugent, right? And he has he has a poem called "Pursue Your Passion." And, and and one of the things he says, not in the particular poem, but he says the cemetery is the most valuable or is is the richest place on earth. Mm. In the graves, in the cemetery, you got blockbusters that were never written and produced. Mm. You got restaurants that were never built. You mm. got inventions that were never created. Mm. You got cures for fucking diseases that were never discovered yeah. Yeah. because people died with their greatness inside of them. And when you look at our people, man, we fucking running around packed in motherfucking buses and trains, working jobs, long hours, and places they hate going to. There's no passion, there's no purpose. So, so we're here for a purpose. Everybody has a purpose, and that one purpose that everybody has is to awaken to who we really are, is to have a spiritual awakening. And once you awaken to your spirit, that, 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 that inspiration, which comes from the word inspire or in spirit, it, 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 it drives you towards, towards your destiny. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, so that's what I want to capture. That's what I want to give. Like, how the fuck does a, 
ex-felon, right, produce and publish his own book. I never went to literature. I never went to college. I don't have degrees. I don't have the, 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 the schooling or the education that society says you need yeah. in order to prosper. What do they tell us? They, they condition us from early. You got to go to school. You got to get a good job. You got to... Like, that's, that's not prospering. Mm -hmm. that, that's training us to be motherfucking robots. Mm -hmm. That's training us to be slaves and employees. Mm -hmm. We're not living our purpose. You know what I mean? So when you, when you pursue your passion, you start to tap into a reservoir of creativity, you know, that, that like with your music. Mm -hmm. When you're in the zone, right, and you, you, you produce a song and, it, and the beat and everything just fits perfectly, that feeling that you get. When you see somebody else listening to your music and they like, yo, they like, yo, you know, this is the face. Yeah. What's the face? Like, oh, oh, you heard that shit? Yo, that shit is crazy. Like, it's something about that, man. Like, when I write a piece, right? Or I recite something and, and, and people shed tears, or I'm speaking in front of an audience, right? And you see tears, you see laughter, yeah. you see people, you know, inspired. By, by your words and your experience, I'm taking all the shit I've been through, I'm taking the lead in my life, and I'm fucking transforming that shit into gold, man. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, 100%. Hey, yo, fuck the economy. The economy is always going to fluctuate. There's a, the recession. Fuck the recession. It don't matter who's in office. It don't matter what the fucking political climate or the economical climate is, man. You got to dig within your own reserve. Fuck the Federal Reserve. I'm talking about your spiritual reserve. We're spiritually bankrupt. We're yeah. spiritually bankrupt. And when you start to make deposits and invest within yourself, riches are in abundance. Because mm. we're rich.